Guess who's back, back, back again. Hi. How's it going? Hey y'all, it's me Cecilia. Welcome back to my channel. Can that dog not? Really? You know what, I'm gonna fuck, okay. Well, this is the beginning of my Reading Rush vlog. I plan on doing a vlog for, I plan on doing a vlog for days ones and twos, which is this vlog, and then the next vlog will be for day three and four. But I wanted to show you guys my TBR because I haven't. Did I say it was for the Reading Rush? I'm losing it already. By the way, it's Thursday, it's 8 p.m. I'm updating late, it's fine. I'll update, I'll tell you in, in a minute. But for the challenges, pretty much, I'm trying to remember what I've put for these challenges. Oh, for the challenge of a book with the house on the cover, I'm reading Pet by Aweke in Moe's Amazi. It is a science fiction book. Um, I know that our main character, um, she's just kind of like, they're in like this version of our world where nothing bad happens. They got rid of all the bad shit, right? Um, but our main character, her mom paints, and one day she goes into the painting studio, um, our main character, the little girl, and she sees a painting, and the painting comes to life, and it's a monster and wants to hurt everything, and she's like, bruh, and it's, it's weird, but I enjoy it. <laughs> um, next is a book. I might be saying these in the wrong order, but like a book set somewhere that you would like to go. And I'm going to be reading Bloodwater Paints by Joy McClough. This is a book. It is set, I don't know what year it is set in, but it's set in Italy. And we have our main character. Her name is, this takes place in Rome in 1610. And she's one of the most famous painters in Rome. And she gets raped. And she basically has a choice of you can either hide this or you can tell everybody and make this a big thing. And she decides to make it a big thing. It's written in prose, so I thought this would be easy to go through. And I really want to visit Italy. Of course, not now, but one day, you know? Um, a book that, oh yeah, I put these in the wrong order, it's fine. A book to read in the same room for the whole sitting. I'm reading The Books of Magic by Neil Gaiman. This is just a graphic novel. I literally know nothing about it. I found it at the thrift store for a dollar, you know? And then another book, a book that'll make you smile, I'm gonna be reading Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. So this is just a classic about Treasure Island, you know, I love all the Treasure Island retellings. So might as well read the original work. It's 8 p.m., why am I updating you guys so late? It's been a bad day. <laughs> I started today, I had to go to the um, mechanic to get two tires replaced. I had to get an alignment done and I got a diagnostic on my engine to see what was going on because my engine light came on. After like $300 later, <laughs> my tires were fixed, my alignment was fixed, but the issue with my engine was that um, I need a new catalytic converter and I need a new oxygen switch, gauge, whatever, which is gonna cost me about $1,200 including labor and parts which I don't have at the moment. So I didn't get that fixed. I will figure that out at the moment. I'm just a little stressed. So I've been spending most of my day just kind of relaxing and thinking and just kind of trying to get my mind off of it. But then other things I've been doing hasn't been helping or working. And why is my head land in the wrong spot? So what I plan on doing is to read and maybe I'll get out of my funk. So I plan on starting to read Blood Water Paints tonight because I feel like that this book is gonna immerse me and just suck me in. If I have to get angry about or stress out about something, I'd rather have it be in a fictional world and this plotline's already gonna anger me and stress me out, so I might as well read it, you know? And I put a poll on Twitter to see if I should, I wanna treat myself because I swear the last week has been terrible and I just want to do something, you know what I mean? I just want to reward myself. So I put on a Twitter um, a poll asking if I should go to Target and buy Harry Styles' new album on vinyl, on fine lines, because I don't have it yet and I really want it and I'm just, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm just mentally not there at the moment. So we're doing that if people say no, because they close at nine and said so that's eight, I figured. I don't live that far from Target, so if not, I'm just going to read this for the night and we'll see how this goes. This. This is some peer pressure right here. 
I don't regret my decision to buy it. But I'm just gonna say some peer pressure was done. Like, treat yourself. gonna pretend I don't look like shit and pretend that the washing machine isn't going right now but hi guys it's Friday it's 10 a.m. and I wanted to update you guys so last night was a, was terrible <laughs> as you saw I got my Harry Styles album I put it in and every single song was scratched except cherry so it's like unusable and which is annoying because I spent $35 on that album on that vinyl Huh. So, I'm gonna see if I can get an exchange from Target or they can give me a new one or something because since the coronavirus I know a lot of places aren't taking returns or exchanges so we're gonna see how that goes. But yeah, but I actually read last night, I read about 100 pages, was it about 100? It's about 90 pages of blood water paint and I am loving this. Like if, if the first hundred pages are what the rest of the book is like. I could see this being a new favorite book. It's so good. It's like, and it's more, I guess, complex than I thought it was. So you do see a lot of just um, regular parts of just like, of prose. But then also you see these sections that are written like regular text. But these are basically stories that our main character's mother told her about different famous like women that are typically portrayed in art uh, before she died and a lot of these women really terrible things done to them but in arts they are portrayed as very it's kind of like objects because you know a lot of male artists do that and of course our main character doesn't like that and stuff like that so it's really interesting to hear their stories and go through it and so I basically just I'm starting part three today so my goal is to finish this book and to read the books of magic so pretty much I'm reading a book a day and since I didn't finish a book yesterday I gotta finish this one but yeah um other things I gotta do today I have to write an essay the entire essay but it's only two pages so that's okay I have to do another thing for school I gotta wash my hair we're gonna pretend like my hair doesn't look like shit right now and those are the only things I physically have to do today so yeah that's pretty much it. I'm gonna read for a bit because I don't want to do homework at the moment. I have all day to do it so I'm gonna do that stuff later but I'm gonna read and see if I can finish this all in one sitting. So yeah. It's about 8 p.m. I have an update you guys in a hot minute. Um, I'm on page... I'm on part four of Bloodwater Paint. So it's roughly about page 175. So I'm getting I'm more than halfway through. And I, I think I'm going to finish it <laughs> in this next sitting. I'm just going to sit down and read the rest of it. And yeah, because I was... I was busy today. I washed my hair. Proud of myself. I'm gonna read. I'll update you guys when I'm done with the book. And yeah, that's pretty much it. and I finished Blood Water Paint by Joe Buclo. I'm thinking about giving this five stars. I love this book. It is very sad, very heartbreaking, but it is a moment. It is very well written. Um, I think I said this earlier, but this follows the true story of Artemisa. I'd never know how to say it. Artemisa Dentiscali, who 
Well, it's a famous female painter in the 1600s, in the early 1600s. And she pretty much, she got raped by uh, her painting teacher and took it to trial. And I'm not going to reveal what happened in the trial or what happened. You can look it up yourself or read the book, whatever happens. But it's just such a sad book. It's written very beautifully. Like, let me read you this last. I technically, I would guess it would be chapter. There's no spoilers in it, but I thought it was just so beautifully written that I have to share. Everything begins from here. The viewing point. The place where you stand. Your eye level. That single point on the horizon where all other lines converge. It just everything's written so beautifully and then you have little snippets of stories that her mother told her mainly about Susanna and Judith and how they pretty much it pretty much talks about women and how women have no rights and women have to basically fight for what they want. How Susanna stood up to her attackers um, because two men were trying to rape her and Judith um, to save her people um, cut off a guy's head and it's very interesting because their stories are very different but talking about those stories really helps um, Artemisa go through what she's dealing with um, you can see you can feel her anger through this book because she's just angry She's angry at society. She's angry that she's not, when she's with her father, she's not getting credit for her work because she's a woman. She's a woman. She's a woman. Um, how people, her, how men don't want to hear her opinion because she's a woman. Um, how her brothers don't take her seriously even though they are younger because she's a woman. How she's not educated because she's a woman. Because she's not taken seriously for her right because she's a woman. It's just like a lot, it just what, something after another and you can just feel her anger in this book and I just wanted to hug her. It was very, very good. And if you want something that was just kind of an, I wouldn't say it's an easy read. It's easy to, to get through, but the subject matter isn't easy. Of course, trigger warnings for sexual assault and rape, um, but this book was so good. And I'm not gonna get rid of it. So I'm staying on my damn shelf, which shows you how good it is, which means it's definitely a five star if I don't want to get rid of the book. So yeah, I'm going to read, I'm going to log this into Goodreads, do all that, and then I'm going to read The Books of Magic by Neil Gaiman. I'm too lazy to get it, but the graphic novel. And yeah. Okay, this, but this is the first time, this is the first time of me looking at the art style up close. This is the, one of the ugliest art styles. I think I've ever seen. Like, why? Why is this so ew? <laughs> ew. Oh god. Like, why does he look like that? Ew. Oh. This is disgusting looking. I hate this. Can I even? That's, that was kind of cute. But other than that, can I even get through this? Because god damn it. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Are you telling me this is fucking Lucifer? Why does he look like he just came out of the womb? You know what the fuck are this? Is this some Doctor Who angels in here? I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm not very far. I still have all this to do. <laughs> so we got to this weird part. And this weird... I don't know what the fuck this is. But he says... I read to you. The true Atlantis is inside you. Just as... Uh, 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 words... The true Atlantis is inside you, just as, as it's inside all of us. The sunken land is lost beneath the true dark sea. Lost beneath the waves of wet black stories and myths that break upon the shores of our minds. Atlantis is the shadow land, the birthplace of civilization. The fair land in the west that is lost to us but remains forever true birthplace and true goal. What the fuck am I re- What the fuck? I am so- close to the end. I can't, I cannot. What the f- I d <sighs> Oh my god, I don't- What am I reading? I don't- like, What the fuck is that? <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like- You know what? I'm fucking- No. Die. <laughs> 
Okay, as you just saw my little rantings, I'm DNFing that book. I can't. <laughs> I'm just giving heavy flashbacks to when I read Neverland and I know I'm not going to enjoy it. If you're wondering, it, because I didn't know what it was when I first started, it's like a mix of Harry Potter and the Matrix where you have this main character whose name is Tim. He's like a young boy, gets bullied, no picked on, whatever. And then these random four dudes in trench coats, like fucking creepers, come up to him in an alleyway. And he runs because, you know, of course you would. You see four men in trench coats are like, yeah, they're going to kidnap me. I'm out of here. But they approach him and they're like, do you believe in magic? Pretty much show him like the magical things of the universe. And I just, no. <laughs> the art style. It's like a writing style. If you don't like it, it's hard to enjoy. And for art style, that's all I'm staring at. So I'm not, I can't, I cannot. So that's a DNF, but I need that book for a owl's prompt. But for the reading rush, I'm fine. Bloodwater paint I read in this room, my bedroom, and that was the challenge I was reading um, the books of the Book of Magic for. So I'm just gonna double up, you know? Fuck it, I don't care. I think that's. I think I'm just gonna end the vlog for these two days because I'm done. <laughs> I read one book. I used all and I DNF'd one. We'll come to you guys tomorrow and we will see how it goes. Okay? So, um, thank you for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, if you're taking place in the reading rush, let me know what you're reading. How's it going so far? But yeah, that's it for today, guys. I'll see you in another video. Peace. Thank you.